Burp. <laughs> okay, we're here. The void. Welcome to the void. There should be a sign that says that. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. It's just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the Pow. Only, uh, oh. uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Yeah, but will she get blown up? Wow, you were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned. Before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. The view from up here. It used to be beautiful. It'd be hard to see your world like this. How long have you been gone exactly? No idea. It's hard to keep track of the time in maximum security. Long enough for the world to change. I knew what Romeo planned to do. Hmm. Well. But still, seeing it like this. Romeo? The admin. Oh. It's worse than I imagined. Hmm. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and it was slow. You watched your friend die. That's awful. It does have a life altering ring to it, doesn't it? But I had those memories to keep me warm for all that time in prison. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that? Close your eyes, people! That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. Huh. Close your eyes. So mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar. Don't look at its eyes. Why do they really hate being just, looked at so much? So big and glowy. Go, go! Going. Ah. Oh. Thanks. Uh. Dismantling the tower. Stay. Thanks. Just meant for the town. Meanwhile, down Parker. here, I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. Yeah, good. What did you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Ninja Man from last episode.
avoid the world of agony. Wow. If anybody can draw something that would be this world before it got bedrocked, please leave that in the comments. If you can. Then, show it to us when you can. asking for me cuz cuz I'm tough whatever our defenses are impressive state of the art machinery automated farming the oasis is a completely self-sustaining city it's home <gasps> what has he done romeo you are ridiculous and lay insane what what happened to it i'm so sorry i can only imagine if i saw beacon town like this save your pity Wow. Wait. This How is nice tell? of you. What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. <laughs> oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal. It's okay. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Nurm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and um, it made him think of Luna. Oh, that's sad. Nurmi, no. Come on, pal. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, we're gonna see Luna again. You should hang on to that blanket and give it to her when we do. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <gasps> Look! At... This... My bed! Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and goodbye, everybody.